The industrial landscape of the northeastern province of Mpumalanga, an area known as South Africa's kill belt, will soon be transformed. The Kumati power plant, once a busy kill plant, is now earmarked to be repurposed as a wind and solar power plant. The country's worst blackouts have put the spotlight on the government's controversial energy strategy. Arguments about decommissioning power plants have come up. And while climate change is a significant issue and we do need to transition to lower carbon sources of electricity, we need to consider the need for an increase in electricity in general in South Africa. So we need to continue to build out renewable energy, but you know, not start switching anything off until we have enough um, electricity to provide for basic needs in the country. When developing countries are asked to prioritize green projects out of environmental concerns, various deals are proposed. The Just Energy Transition Partnership, JETP, financing model has raised questions. There are a few questions that have been raised um, around the funding model associated with the JETP. And the first is, particularly from South African perspective, is that only 4% of the current amount that's promised is, is grants. So it's actually mostly loans and guarantees. Um, and obviously we're, in a, we're a country in a significant um, amount of debt. The last generation unit at the Kamati coal-fired power station, which was generating about 125 megawatts of power, was shut down last year. Power Utility ASCOM this week invited bids for the implementation of a socio-economic plan to mitigate the effects of its closure.